So for this lesson, we are going to learn about SAP Data Dictionary. Now let's try to make things a bit simple and for a moment let's keep SAP aside. Right? Um, and let's try to think in very simple terms. See, some of the guys who are watching this video may already be either technical or functional consultants in SAP and uh, you may already be aware of the terms that I'm going to use, right? But still, you know, think you're a fresher for a moment and that way you will learn a lot more, okay? All right, so let's keep SAP aside and um, here's the situation. I'm going to give you a list of 20 students and um, I, I want you to store the, the names of these students in the system. So, so, so what are we going to do here? I've given you a list of 20 students and I want you to store their names in the, in the system. So how are you going to do that? Now, if it were for me, right, what I would do is I would just open up Microsoft Excel and um, I will create a sheet with two columns. The first column I'll name as student ID and the second column I'll name as student name. So we have, um, so, so the sheet will look something like this. We have two columns, student ID and student name, and we'll store all the names of the students. So very simple, it looks nice, and it does what it's supposed to do. But now, what if I told you that I want you to store three more, um, three more um, information, the class name that the student is going to attend, the, the location of the class, where the location is, the class is situated in the, in the school building, and thirdly, I also want you to store the name of the teacher who is going to take this, teach this class, okay? So three more columns. So it's, it's simple, you would simply go and add three more columns to that list. And um, finally, our list will have five columns and it will look something like this. We have five columns, student ID, student name, class name, class location and teacher's name, okay? Five columns. So the, the data is there in the, in the list and it looks nice, but um, and it's doing its job, nice. But do you notice something peculiar in this list? Now, if you notice that, right, the class name, the teacher's name and the location, right, they're getting repeated several times. So see, now if I, if I told you that the class is above, right, then you automatically know that the teacher's name is John and the location is first floor, right? You already stored that. Then why do we need to store it again and again for every row, right? This is called, this is a really wastage of space and it's called uh, data redundancy, okay? Data redundancy. Um, it's duplication of data in other words, right? So we need to avoid duplication of data because it's just wastage of uh, memory space. So to solve this, what will we do? Um, so to solve this, right, what we can simply do is we can create another table um, called the class information, okay? And we can store the class information in that, that table and just have a reference of that um, table into our students table. So that means our class table will have three columns or four columns rather, the class ID, the class name, the class location and the teacher's name. And the class ID from the class table, we will maintain a reference of that in the student ID, a student table. Um, so the class ID from the class table goes into the uh, student table as the class ID, okay? So, um, and, and your table will look something like this, okay? So this way we, when you, so this way we are saving a lot of data space, a memory space, and we have also broken up the tables into two uh, distinct tables. And this process of doing that is called um, normalization. So we have normalized our table and this, this is done to avoid data duplication and to save space, all right? So now there are several levels or several degrees of normalization. We'll not go into that depth because uh, basically that uh, database designers, DBAs, you know, they usually do such, some kind of, uh, such kind of activities. But my, the whole purpose of explaining this normalization concept to you is to explain to you how, you know, database designing is done, all right? So now, once you have understood this concept, right, in the next video, we'll see how this concept is um, implemented in SAP.